Right. We're working on a 06 Nissan Altima four cylinder. It's a 2.5 liter. And where we're at right now is uh, we're, I've got the cylinder head doll apart. And uh, we've got a blown head gasket. And this head gasket blew all by itself. Uh, and it's, I'm going to tear, tear it down and get it off. Now, what I've done is I've removed all the bolts on the exhaust manifold, intake manifold, all this junk on the side, take everything off. I'm about to pull those bolts that hold the the cam gears. Okay, and I just want everybody to see the alignment here. That's where that's where it needs to be. It needs to look like that. That little notch. There's a notch up here, right here. Notch goes there. That thing, little pin is pointing up. And then these two cam lobes, the, the intake cam lobe and this is the exhaust. They're pointing away from each other. And then you look down there, if you can see that or not, that's the top dead center pin. It's not, not focusing, but that's all right. Line that pin up, okay? You push that little uh, timing chain ten tensioner. It's not there right now, but I took it out. Timing chain, chain tensioner goes right there. You got to take that little guy off, okay? You just depress that and put a little pin in there. And after you get these two off, there's some bolts hidden behind there, and we'll get to those in a minute. All right, one of the other things I do is I get this little torch guy here, and I heat up them heads of those bolts for about 30 seconds. There's one here. There's one there, all right? Just put that heat on there for about 30 seconds and get them warm. And then wait about 10, 15 seconds before you try to turn them. Now I've got a, a big old opening wrench on here. I think it's a 15 16 or something. It fits on there good enough. And when you turn these uh, bolts on these cam gears, you don't want that camshaft to turn, okay? And then after you get it loose, you don't want it to turn, all right? And so what I do is, is I get a pair of vice grips and I clip on a pair of vice grips, you know, one on each cam just to hold it stationary so that it doesn't move. Because if it does, it'll ding one of those valves and then you gotta replace the valve. All right, now there's the vice grips. Now you're not gonna use these vice grips to do anything, just to hold the cams, that's it. And don't put them on too tight. Some of these camshafts on these cars are hollow and you'll just crush it cause lots of problems we don't want to do that all right now I got that one loose and I wanted to show y'all if I'll zoom in 197 okay now after I heated that one up I heated it up to about 240 degrees and it's going down now all right now when I had heated it up the first time about 150 175 I couldn't get it loose uh, but I got it loose now, and it was at 240 when I got off of, of it with the torch, waited 10 seconds, and then I got it loose. So that's about what it takes. Just wanted to give everybody an idea what kind of brake bars we got here. I got one on the sprocket, and that other one got a little cheater bar on that 15 16 Those little guys are quite tight. All right, well, I got all that stuff off. And as you can see, there's some bolts in there. There's a bolt here and there, and there's two on that side. I took that tensioner off, and I let that chain just drop down in there now. If you turn the crankshaft while that chain is hanging down in there like that, bunched up, you will break it. You will break the housing that goes around the time and chain assembly cover housing. It'll break it, so you don't want to turn the crankshaft in this position here and also as well before you take the cams loose if you turn the crankshaft you'll you'll hit the cam you'll hit the valves bend all the valves up so we don't want to do that either now I got my vice grips on there to hold it this uh, this front alignment piece here that goes here has to come off first before you start loosening up all these bolts you can't take the head bolts out head bolts are way down in there can't take them out until you get the cams off. I think I can zoom in on some head bolts. There's one there. And I've did this uh, head gasket on this car before. And I did it with uh, 
other than original parts. So this time I'm going to put Nissan parts in there. Hopefully it'll last longer. Uh, these are the bolts that came out of the top. These are the bolts that came out of the inside. And look at that. I've got a Bobo. When I heated up the exhaust cam gear, the heat traveled up and hit this little tensioner slipper that's on top and melted a little bit. So I'll get another one of those from the dealer. That's not a problem. But you always have to keep an eye out on things like this. It's not that big of a deal. If you put it back together with that, you've got problems. This thing is going to fall apart. And it's going to, the chain is going to be slapping and getting all messed up. All right, well, to get that little guy loose, is I just prized it on the top, just a little bit up here until there was a seam. You can see it, just a tiny bit, okay? And then you put it on this little booster right here and you push down, push down on it like this and give it a little pressure up. And that little guy will pop off. Don't go nuts on this thing, he'll break it. Just a little tension there, okay? You take this thing off. All right, there you go. And you can see what kind of silicone drive you got in there from the last time. That one has some overflow. And this one has a small air pocket in there, but it didn't leak anywhere, so we're good.